Greetings, everybody, and welcome to the Media Files. So, what are we going to talk about this time? Well, uh, I had shown off uh, several um, while ago all my PS1 games, and the fact that I had mentioned that, well, couldn't find some uh, cases. Well, I found me some nice blank cases. Yeah, now if I can find where I found all, where I put all the uh, all the inserts, um, that's next to find. But so let's go through and see what is actually in my PS1 jewel cases that have been completely refurbished. All right, up next here on the media files. All right, welcome back. So um, obviously. They're all going to be blank, so I found me a bunch of dual cases uh, for the PS1, or just your standard double uh, to three to four uh, disc sized, uh, you know, CD cases like they were back in the day. Um, you know, and like I had mentioned before that I had several of these that just over time, you know, when I was younger, you know, put them here, put them there, you know, we don't really... You know, we just kind of put them wherever we want because, you know, we don't realize so many years later that they look much better on a shelf like this. Yes, all nice and sturdy. So let's go through all of the games that I have currently found and that I have jewel cases for. So first up, we have, ah, we have Valkyrie Profile. Yeah, disc one as well as disc Two. So there you go. All right. So uh, like I said, these are all going to be in completely random order. So it's going to be hard telling, you know, what is what. So you will have to bear with me. <clears throat> so let's see here. All right. So up next, we have... Ah, uh, I'm actually playing the... Uh, we have uh, Resident Evil 2. Yep, that's the clear disc. Now, obviously, the Leon disc would be in here but that is currently in my ps3 yes i am actually going back and playing the original resident evil 2 um you know because it's been so long since i played it so I'm like why not so up next uh, this one feels a little heavier ah yes so this one actually has the booklet i still need to find the inserts but here we have Parasite Eve 2. Yeah, I love the fact that they came with booklets like this. And there's disc 1. And here we have disc 2. So there you go. It's mostly complete. But, you know. So up next, we have... Ah, now this one here is a little bit kind of difficult to uh, get here because... I remember when I bought this game that it did not even come with a case at all. But I was kind of surprised that uh, that this game was even ever released on the original PlayStation. Uh, which I think is kind of a bit of a rare uh, game in my collection. We have Wing Commander 3. Yeah, on the PS1. Yep, because it originally released on the PlayStation. I'm surprised they could cram the whole game onto the PS1. One uh, obviously there's probably a graphics downgrade, but eh, what can you do? And Wing Commanders discs three and four. So yeah, there you go. Gotta love me some Wing Commander. Up next, uh, this one feels a little heavier as well. Ah, here we have Final Fantasy Anthology. Yeah, uh, Final Fantasy five. Now I know when this originally came out, it actually came with a three disc case which actually featured a came with a music CD, uh, which I still do have. It's around here somewhere. And there's Final Fantasy VI. So there you go. So if I can ever find another three-disc case, I'll just uh, swap the cases out and call it a day for completeness sake. So up next, we have... Uh, we have Metal Gear Solid. Who doesn't love the original game of that? And now, obviously, this is not the uh, the original version. It's actually the Greatest Hits Edition. But I'm like, eh, beggars can't be choosers. I'm just glad I own that original game still. And up next, we have... Ah, we have Parasite E1. Yeah. 
I really wish that this game would get remade. I mean, just imagine how awesome it would be. Now, I know somebody out there on YouTube has done a uh, What If Parasite Eve was released on the um, Unreal Engine. I'm like, that would be cool. Um, so then, yep. And then finally, um, the I have the other disc. It's here somewhere. But we have Final Fantasy Chronicles. We have Chrono Trigger. Now, also part of this series was Final Fantasy IV, which I believe is, I think, in one of my CD cases somewhere, because I had uh, had to put all my games in uh, to uh, uh, one of these type of cases for travels. Uh, that way they would be protected at all times, so that way I wouldn't have to worry about them being lost. But... I've got several of them, and uh, it's in one of them somewhere. I'm not quite sure exactly where. So, yeah, uh, there you go. So that's basically uh, just about all my cute cases. I've got one game that I'm missing somewhere, one that actually I did complete, which um, I actually currently can't get to because it's actually down in the basement, <laughs> and I can't really get to it at the moment. But, oh well, that is life. Uh, by the way, the game is the original Fear Effect. Yeah, that game was fun. And so with that, uh, that completes basically this little video here. Remember to please like and subscribe, leave a comment, and hit that notification button. And so with that, I'll see you in the next video. See ya.